hi guys welcome back to coding world today in this video we are going to see one more interest technology which is a liquibase so liquibase is mainly used for data migration data versioning and uh, your schema maintenance so using liquibase we can easily maintain maintain your schema we can migrate your database from one uh, uh, one server to another server so and you can also uh, maintain the versioning of your database and so we can achieve that using liquibase in this tutorial i am going to show you with one example where i have a one book class book table and one is author and there is a relationship between a book and author which is a one to one book contains id name and author and the author will author id will be foreign key in the book and the author will be having id and name so for that we will be creating xml file for, for these two and we will do some insertion also in that using a liquibase xml file and we will create a web application using a simple controller like a book controller where i will read data from the db and will show on our console so let's get started so all this configuration we will do from our spring initializer in spring initializer give your group id artifact name description package and select jar and 11 here we need to add the dependencies which are uh, postgres for our database then liquibase which is for our liquibase migration on which we are going to create a video and web i am adding also for creating the controllers and showing it on browser and second one is jpa which will be used for our hibernate queries to fetch the data from db once or once you add these all four dependencies download your project and import in your favorite editor so i have did that and imported that project into my intel j if you see you have Spring Boot Starter, then Web, Core, JPA, and the Postgres. And post that, you have to add one more plugin, which is a Liquibase Maven plugin. As I have added this, you can add according to that. I'm, and main thing, I'm going to upload this into my Git repository. So you can download that, all this project from you, my Git repository, and you can do necessary changes and use for your project. Okay, this is my main class, Liquibase demo application, and this is the application property. And when you add the Liquibase, the db dot change log folder will get automatically created under resources. This is for our project setup. Now let's start actually configuring our project. Now we, first we will create our two tables, which are book and author. For that purpose, we have to create an XML file and in that XML file, we have to create a, those two tables. So to write that line by line, it will take a time and that video get video will be a long, long lengthy. For that purpose, I have had created that on myself and that I am going to directly paste it here. I am going to create a XML file for author and book. So this is an XML file which is configuring our or book and author table so every every xml file start with a database change log and under that we can have a, our change set each change set has an id and author keep that in mind that all over your project this id should be a unique even you add a, another xml in that also this id sh should be a unique we should not contain in other files keep in mind then i have created a created table tag where I am mentioning table name, remarks, then I have name ID, column name as ID and its type. Auto increment I am making as a true and constant I am putting that it should not be a null and primary, it is a primary key, which means unique. Then another tags I have a column where I am mentioning name and its type and its constant. So like that I have created a books which has a ID, name and author. So same here, I have authors where I have a name, ID, and these two, these two attributes. 
okay these two columns will be in uh, authors and i am adding a foreign key for our book and author like so this a author will be a our foreign key which is a unique key in our which is a primary key in our author so this is for our create this is for our creating a books and author table now let's create a two files which will insert data into these two tables so let's insert so let's insert first data into books so this is a database change log for insert entries into books and it start with a change set as i told in previous and here i have a insert tag which is going to insert into my table where i have a column name and its value so this is for this insert now we need to insert data into our author authors okay so this is a change set for with id 02 and we are inserting data into our author table okay no need to explain more now we have to we have to create one master file which will be working as a versioning purpose so where for that so in that master file we will be giving all these xml files and tells that include this xml file for your server run so when server gets run it automatically pick that pick these files and run into our run on our postgres database and it will mark that this file has been ran already and when next time we, we restart our application that time it will check into our database change log and it will get to know that it's already run on this postgres database and it will not run the same file again that i will show you next time when we run this application where then two files will be gets created two table will be gets created regarding to change log now let's create a master so liquid based change log yml i am creating and in that yml i am putting all this xml so change change log and in this i am telling include this book create books and author schema then insert data authors insert data books okay now we will configure our application properties file so here initially only server port is added there i need to add the postgres data server details and then we have to tell that look for the liquid base change log file yml and read that and create operation on database so these are the properties for my application dot property files where i have mentioned dialects and this is my postgres database where for this demo i have created separate database which is a postgres one and these are the all credential for that and this is a main thing where i am telling that look for the liquid base change log yml file okay now i am going to run this application and we'll check that all these tables are getting created and data are getting inserted then we will next create a controller over that and show it on our browser let's run this application we have successfully run our application on 8081 if you see there like uh, if this is my new postgres schema here if you refresh this you will able to see all the authors books and change log and change log lock has been created and if you see here in authors you will be able to see the data also yes authors has been successfully populated now we have to create a controller for the book and need to return the data okay let's create a book and author class i am creating this uh, let's annotate this with the entity and table let's create author and that author we will use here now we have created author then let's use this author here in book i am creating setter getter okay now let's annotate these properties uh, with our column
Now our author has been created where we have given an ID and generator type as auto and column with the name ID. This is not nullable and the unit. Let's add this one to many operation, add one to many relationship between our author and book. Okay. So guys, we are ready with our author and book <clears throat> where we have annotation like one to many and author will be having join column as author. Okay. Now let's create a control and repository and through which we will show the books on our browser. Extends current repo where I am mentioning like a book and integer. So my object will be book and its primary key will be integer. Now let's create controller. REST controller request mapping Okay guys, so I am getting a list of books from our book repository and returning into the browser. Let's run this application and check we are able to get the books or not. Okay, application has been started successfully. Let's run our first API, get books. Oh sorry, I have not annotated this with uh, any get mapping or post mapping. Let me annotate this with a get mapping. Now let's run. Let's call our first API. Coding world, get books. This book capital B, let me check. Instead of coding, it's code state. Okay, so successfully we are able to get the result like five books and five, it's five authors. So guys, this is it for the liquid base using a Spring Boot and Postgres database. You can use you can use my application and modify over that and use for your personal project or company project. If you like this video, please share with, uh, with your friends and please subscribe to my channel if you want such types of video in future. Thank you.